I had promised you that plate 410 DMV. This is a Colorado plate. And uh, we'll look up 410 in a moment, but let's take a look at DMV. In the United States, these initials mean the Department of Motor Vehicles. Let's take a look at what Google has to say about that. Google, what is DMV? And Google puts up Department of Motor Vehicles. A Department of Motor Vehicles is a government agency that administers motor vehicle registration and driver's licensing. These are the guys that put out these plates that I've been looking at over and over and over again. But are they in charge of themselves or is there someone else who's in charge of them? Let's take a look at that. This is the Strong's Hebrew 410 H410L. Many of you are familiar for this. God, Godlike, Mighty One, Mighty Men of Rank, Mighty Heroes, Angels, God, False Gods, Demons, Imaginations, God, the One True God. And they say Jehovah. I know that's a mispronunciation. Down at the bottom it says God, capital G O D, 213 times, 213 times, 410 in the Hebrew refers to God. So I ask you, according to this play, who is in charge of the DMV? Sure looks like God, the one true God, is in charge of the DMV. And that's why I keep seeing plates that correlate to things, that can be used as a means of deciphering a code, a simple code, numbers that appear and that correlate to words within the scriptures that then build sentences and understandings and meanings. And that's what we're talking about here. Nothing more, nothing less. Let's take a look at what else 410 shows up on and how it's being used here. This is about a 1963, 4, or 5 Chevy Corvair with the license plate 410-74H. So we know that 410, again, is the one true living God. What's 74H? What is the Hebrew 74 in the Strong's Concordance? This is the Hebrew 74, Abner. My father is a lamp. Underlined in red at the bottom, father of light. Who is the father of light? but the one true living God. This plate then would refer to the one true living God who is the Father of light. The Strong's Greek 410, Anaglectos, that which can, that cannot be called into account, unreprovable, unaccused, blameless. Is that not a word describing the Father of light, the one true living God? The Strong's Concordance H410 first use is in Genesis 14:18, referring to Melchizedek. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God, H410. This is the first use of G410, and the only use of G410. 1 Corinthians 1, verse 8, Who shall also confirm you unto the end, that ye may be blameless, G410. In the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, I know that Jesus is a mispronunciation of the original spelling I-E-S-U-S -S, in the Geneva Bible, and the original spelling in the Greek of Iota, Eta, Sigma, Omicron, Upsilon, Sigma, and that name should be pronounced Iesu who shall also confirm you unto the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord, Iesu Christ.
Let's see where this is also used again. Today is 513. The Greek 513 in the Strong's Concordance is axine, an axe. What does an axe have to do with any of this? These are the only two uses of this word in the New Testament. Matthew 3.10, Luke 3.9. And now also the axe, G5.13, is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. And now also the axe, G5.13, is laid unto the root of the trees, and every tree, therefore, which bringeth not forth good fruit, is hewn down and cast into the fire. Virtually word for word in both Gospels. That's what today's numbers mean. And how does that apply? Because G410 means blameless. And where will we be found blameless? at the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord, when the ax cuts to the bottom of the trees, to the roots, and that which is unfit is burned. That day is coming, and God is using these license plates. Ayah is speaking through numbers on license plates to correlate to words in his scripture, to give his message before this time comes so that you may be found blameless, so that on that day in Zion, you can do what the scriptures say to do, which is to call upon the name of the Lord, the name of yod heh vav He. yod heh vav He. Ayyechavah has a name, and that name is Ayah. Everything stems from that name that Moses gave and that was given to Moses in Exodus. Tell the people, tell the children of Israel that Aleph Heyod He Ayah sent me unto you. And when Moses got there, he said exactly what Ayah said to say. And they recognized him. And they knew the name of their God. And those men put that name on their children. Numbers 627. And we know that that name is still on those children because those names still exist. Jeremiah, Obadiah, Hezekiah. There's a Hezekiah plate coming up as well. How many times does it have to happen before you realize that it's not a coincidence? It's not coincidental. It's planned, it's orchestrated, it's being given to you repetitively for your understanding so that you can believe. The apostles asked for help. Help us with our unbelief. That is what the Father of Light is doing right now. Ayah is helping people with their unbelief, showing them in Scripture what he wants them to know. It's all in the book. This is nothing new. This is actually something old that's being revealed. God bless and take care. Bye.